Disclaimer, some of the ideas shown in this video may void your Dremel 3D printer warranty. Hey guys, I got the Dremel Idea Builder uh, a while back, and they come with what they say you can only use, you know, their filament, and uh, um, if you you know, don't use their filament, the machine won't work, and it'll, it'll void the warranty. I wondered how true that was, um, so I went and did a little <laughs> looking on YouTube, actually. Um, I found this guy that had used some of the Hatchbox filament and uh, actually designed a part that you could print so that the bigger rolls would fit because this is much bigger than this other one and I'll have a link to that uh, in the description so you guys can see that. Um, but since then I've tried probably three different filaments um, and this is going to be a review um, about what I found on those filaments. So starting off with you have the regular Dremel filament which I actually really don't like. It's a very small roll. You only get um, 623 feet, and this roll costs you about $30. Um, and I've also had the most issues with this filament out of all the other ones. Um, I've had a couple times where, as it comes out, it wasn't wrapped, wrapped properly so that the filament was crossed. Um, I actually have a couple pictures that I'll include. So, it just couldn't feed it anymore, and it actually jammed the print head in the printer, and I didn't notice it till the next day because I had, I had you know, set the printer up and gone to bed. Um, and I came back out a couple hours later, and the motors and everything were actually, had heated up because it had just jammed the printer in, in its spot. So, this roll will cost you about $30. Um, you can get it on Amazon. It's free shipping, um, and it's approximately 623 feet. The next roll I have is Fox Smart. This roll actually will not fit inside the machine. It gets stuck up against the build plate, um, the build platform, because if you look, it is wider than the regular rolls. So what I did with that was I found this thing on Thingiverse that you can just have it sit on and run it through one of the vents on the side of your printer. Uh, this roll actually prints pretty decently. Um, it's uh, $16 for a good size roll. It prints um, decent, haven't had a whole lot of feed issues or anything like that, but I also haven't used a whole lot of it, um, as you can see. This roll was $16, uh, which is by far the cheapest that I found yet. The downside to this roll is the customer service is horrible. Um, when I first ordered this, I looked up their return policy because once I realized it wouldn't fit before I found this thing, um, I wanted to return it. And it said, oh yeah, you know, if it's not opened, uh, still in the box, all that kind of stuff, feel free to return it. Just email us. I emailed them three times and never heard back. Um, so then I went and I found their phone number, and right on their phone number on the website it says, do not call us, we won't call you back. Um, you know, you can try, but we won't call you back. So I tried just so I could say I gave you to try, and obviously they didn't call me back. So it's a cheap filament, um, it prints nicely. Um, the next thing that I tried, which is actually the uh, filament that the uh, try to help guy that designed this model, came up with um, was Hatchbox, and I really enjoy their filament, haven't had any problems with theirs. Um, theirs is about 
Twenty-five dollars. Um, again, good price. Free shipping on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. Um, so that was a good one. I also just found this filament. It's from um, Aces Deals, which generally sells drones, but they're just getting into the 3D printing space. I'll have a link to their site down below. Um, this is a 2.2 pound roll. Now this is this is a general um, what I think of as a normal size roll, um, and it doesn't say how long it is or anything like that. But these all come full. So if you just look at the size difference on how much you get, um, I've only used a little bit of this Hatchbox stuff, um, but there's just a ton more filament in this. This actually also would not fit in the printer, so I had to use this with it, with it as well. So it's really between the Smart Fox and the Aces Deals um, on pricing, and I think you get more, well, I know you get more uh, filament with the Aces Deals over the um, Smart Fox. This is a good one. What I've been using this for a lot is um, if I want to test a design or test a print that I don't know how it's going to react, I will use this because um, it has a decent print quality and it's relatively cheap. Um, so you're not, you know, using your your better quality stuff on a print that might mess up or might fail halfway through. So now we come to the question of do these actually work? You know, do, do they print well and everything? And for the most part, I haven't had any problems that I haven't had with the Dremel filament. Um, you know, occasionally you'll get a clog or um, a fee problem, but I wouldn't say that's because of the filament. Sometimes what you will have to do is go in and change the temperature settings um, when you slice the model, because each filament has a different slight, different a different slight. You free slight. Each filament has a different uh, melting point. Um, and it usually says somewhere on the box or, or with the company that you ordered from. Alright guys, now to talk about print quality. Here we have four of the same model printed with the four different filaments. This one is the Dremel filament. Um, it came out okay. Um, it's not the best out of all of them by far. It's got a little bit of uh, ridges in it and... Um, it just it isn't the nicest print. This is the Smart Fox. I actually really enjoyed the way that this printed. Um, it's very smooth. It looks really good. Um, it does have a little bit of lines in it that you can't really tell, but you can change that with the layer height on the filament. This is the Smart Fox filament, um, and this one looks a little bit different than the other three because this is a translucent filament, um, so it is supposed to be a little bit see-through. Um, they did a, a, a decent, or it did a g decent job on the print, um, very smooth. And then this is the uh, Aces Deals filament. Um, it printed just as well as the Smart Fox. I'd say the Smart Fox and the Aces Deals are my two favorites out of these. Um, and the uh, there you go, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of lines in it that is just a visual thing. You can't even feel it when you um, rub your finger across it on the Aces Deals. You just feel it on the Smart Fox. Alright everybody, that's going to about do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely like to hear from you guys. Um, still kind of new at this, starting out. See what you guys like, see what you want to see more of. Um, and we'll see you in the next episode.